Every story has a beginning, and this one started when Michael Mallard, the estranged biological son of our temple Magus, arrived at his father's deathbed after a 20-year absence. What he wanted was anybody's guess. His father had no money, and Mallard had no interest in magic. Also present was Jack Mason, a competent magician, next in line to inherit the mantle of Temple Magus. Jack was accompanied by his scarlet woman, the enigmatic Maggie Phoenix, an Aleister Crowley scholar and devotee of the goddess Kali. As the appointed secretary of the Temple of Horus, I keep track of what goes on, the initiations, the grades, the rituals, and whatever else needs my attention. Our magical order is a splinter group of a larger parent temple defined by archaic occult dogmas and all the usual ritual paraphernalia of black robes, hooked canes, and silly hats. Our temple doesn't do hats and robes. We do sex magic. be alone with my father. Mm. 
this 93 mean? Once upon a time, someone invited me to a Halloween party at the house of a psychiatrist who asked that the guests eg examine their subconscious mind and come to the party dressed to represent what they found there. So of course I went as the devil and the psychiatrist asked me why. I said that when we venture into the mental underworld, which is our subconscious mind, the first character that we meet there is the devil, who is our socially unacceptable aspect that we demonize and diabolize and deny and repress and reject and push down into our subconsciousness so everyone should have come to the party dressed as the devil. The psychiatrist put his finger over his lips and said,
sign for me? Yeah, you know. Myself into the ground, my pen into the crowd, my better sense to the cloud, my innocence to the foul, my dividends to the mouth, my dedication to the owls. I've been through the ups and downs, so I know the ins and outs. And I was told it was the journey, not the destination. So I won't stop at the same spot where the rest are waiting. But it's hard to make it, gotta wake up in the entire nation. It takes time and patience and a whole lot of trailblazing. So I took my act on the road, it kicked my rapid flows and started a movement and passed. My stack and dough, at least the answers that I seek will lead me back to home with a broader point of view and a mic that fractured stone. And what naturally started out as a passion for rap, for rap, and it spun out of control of my words, started bouncing on the back of the walls, like a gap and go from Harry O. Oh well, let that ship sell the mainstream at the end of the day, shit sells, so let them please serve it to you hot. I came to be honest, I came to speak on this And carry conversation with people who be on this A past of monsters heard you with temptation haunts you I came to be honest, I came to speak on this And carry conversation with people who be on this A past of monsters heard you with temptation haunts you you, this is somebody's shit, and I'm the dude. I spit it as real as I get it in life's chronicles. From tumbleweed to cobblestone, pump your fist to carpet tunnel. Raising a fam, a constant shuffle, writing a song, a constant muscle. You gotta get into the trenches, find your thorns to cut on. But there's more than puddles to drown in when you're born, Geppetto. Gotta make sure not to breathe life for the things that bring trouble. I'm a cranberry clown to the king of things, string hustle. Either catch a break or get lost in the shuffle when the game is high stakes and the weight's enough to make you buckle. Sometimes I feel like time can crush you Like it just bum rush you Now it's in front of your face saying fuck you I came to be honest I came to speak on this And carry conversation with people who be on this A past of monsters hurt you with temptation haunts you I came to be honest I came to speak on this And carry conversation with people who be on this A past of monsters hurt you with temptation haunts you Fuck a short walk, I'm fame in a montage of lame moments My words in motion, what I felt when I wrote them stays frozen Don't bang for an ocean of what side of a line I'm on And kids don't really get the music anymore, they got the design of it wrong The timing's gone, it's sci-fi with a pipe and a bong A bang bang, shoot em up, rap till another life is gone Wrong, isn't it? No one's omnipotent I'm not different, I'm not special cause I'm a lyricist That's why I scribble these words and collect graffiti To remind me the community sees in the city's breathing We're part of it's all Prodder Matthews passed on this morning Brace yourself, Jack His son inherited everything His lawyers fixed it Mallard plans to commercialize the order He's gonna turn this into a fucking franchise Can you believe that? The old man signed it all away. Thanks for letting me know so soon. There was nothing I could do about it. 93. I'm really sorry, Jimmy. Father Matthew's dead. Son? 
few years ago, Father Matthew incorporated our temple as a non-profit church. He apparently missed the status by inheritance clause, a tiny legality obviously not missed by this little weasel. When did all this happen? Two days ago. Father Matthew never knew what hit him. Oh God, I was there. Oh, this is like some scene out of a weird Shakespearean tragedy. The old king is dying on the bed. His sequestered son, the banished prince, is sitting by his bedside. And his two hired guns are performing their Machiavellian last rite. He had no idea what was happening. He, he, he did a series of strokes in, in the days before, and he was so doped up on morphine. When his son forced his hand, he... Oh, Father Matthew, there's no way he could have known what he was signing. Oh my God, this is a travesty. What are you saying? What I'm saying is that his weasel, good-for-nothing biological son who knows nothing about magic or the ways of our order is now Temple Magus. Let's wait just a second, right? You cannot inherit the role of Temple Magus, right? You, it has to be, it has to be earned. You know, if there's anything we can do, and I do mean anything, just let me know. No, I need you I'm to- I'm gonna rip his fucking throat out! I need you two to stay out of this, okay? I just need some time to think. Anyone advancing in our temple must pass through various grades and initiations, each with its own unique ritual. Jack Mason assigned his two hot-headed apprentices an ego-corrosive ritual of going into business together as clowns. According to Jack, all they had to do was to have some fun, make a little money, and do some good along the way. But not too much good, as Jack would say, unless you want to end up like Jesus. <laughs> Oh, this is sexy Jesus right here. You're always a nervous Nelly before going on. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I can't believe I am still stuck in philosopher's grade. It's so fucking boring. You can advance as soon as you show more self-control. Self-control? <laughs> what? How did you advance from philosophist to adeptus minor? You really were able to control all of your attractions and repulsions. Yeah. Skip that, actually. <clears throat> what I'm really interested in is, um, how did you get to the HGA? Conversation with the Holy Guardian Angel? Yeah. And I can't talk about that. Oh, come on. Come on. Craigers. What's the ritual? <laughs> Just tell me. Okay, well, at least what god form did you start with? Well, at least tell me the secret to being a better clown. 
I'm the Smurf from hell. The secret to being a better clown is to take everything personal. Overreact to whatever happens. Since you're already doing that, you're already a better clown than me. If you want to have a conversation with the HGA, you have to go to the devil first. The devil? The devil. Uh, Alright, smart pants. How do I summon the devil? Go do that in imposter poser thing that you're doing. <clears throat> Now do it with feeling. <laughs> push it out. 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 Now spike it. Spike it. Spike it to the hill. Take a spike of pose. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The kids are ready for you now. Thank you. Hi, everybody! You guys ready for Jack and Pizza? All right, so we have children in the front rows and the parents in the rows behind. Ready? Absolutely love you. He's he's a recent client. If you get my jacket, I'll give you his card. So you're the boss now. 
Yeah, the boss. Uh, Go get your jacket yourself. Yes. Uh. His name's Michael Mallard. He's going to be very rich soon. Why are you here, Professor? I seek knowledge. The world of sorcery needs a language, a system, that ordinary people can understand. I wish to document this sacred technology for the benefit of the world. Why am I wearing this head of cabbage? What cabbage? This, this head of cabbage on my head. What cabbage? I only see two heads. One knows, the other doesn't, and you don't know the difference. You may pursue knowledge with me as long as you appear exactly like this every time you visit. No exceptions. Lift your palms to your face. Look at your hands. Remember this gesture. When you find your hands in your dreams, you will be ready to work with me. Don't come back here until you find your hands in your dreams. Are you thinking of 
the same thing I'm thinking? I don't, I don't know. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that you want this guy to take him out. what I thought you were thinking about. Because if so, I can... Well, I think I know somebody that could help you. Really? You know somebody? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, in my work, I mean, Pretty expensive. I was thinking probably about fifty thousand or maybe more. That's nearly half my savings. Huh? Well, I guess you just have to ask yourself if the investment is worth the outcome. Well, actually, maybe you should ask yourself if. The outcome is worth the investment. Investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. I can do this. How was your day? Oh, my day was good. Professor wants to make me famous. You want to kick his ass? Oh, no. He'll do that all by himself. <laughs> I missed you today. Oh, you're sweet. I didn't know Russians had a heart. I didn't know shamans had a brain. <laughs> you're cute when you play dumb. I'd do anything for you, Babulink. How do you say come here in Ruski? Come here? Come here. Idi come here. Idi come here. Idi come here. I didn't get it, I know, you get it right. Idi come here. Idi come here. Come here. Come here. Idi come here. Ah, are you a good witch or a bad witch today? Bad witch. Oh. Very bad witch. In fact, for you, Vlad, could be a wicked witch. Oh, that... Excuse me, one moment. Vlad. I know, I know. You said tonight was Very about fast. us. Put Very that fast. away or I put a curse on you. Please don't do that. Angel. Da. 
Хорошо. Пошли фото ко мне на сотовый. И я завтра позвоню клиенту. Хорошо. Спасибо, да. Все, пока. Put that away and come here. What is it? You see that? You see anything over there? No. It's nothing. No. Right there. There's a shadow of leaves. What? Are you okay? It's on. Maggie. That guy I was telling you about, he said he will call you later today. Well, that was quick. Thank you, Maggie. Anubis loves you. Anubis loves you more. 
93. Speaking. Yes, I can talk now. In person. Hold on a second. I have to take this. We'll talk about this later? Yeah. 93. 93. Yeah, I have some time free tomorrow. Now. Yeah, what's 93? Is that some kind of code we should know about? The number 93 is shorthand for the Thelemic axiom, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law, love is the law, love under will. In the Greek language, Thelema means will. If you apply the Greek technique of isopsophy, which gives each word a numerical value, the words love and will add up to 93. Jack never bothered to explain this to the uninitiated who he preferred to throw off track in whatever way he could. Uh, 93 is like a, a, a aloha in Hawaii, you know, uh, uh, means hello and goodbye. Aloha means hello and goodbye. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. yeah, sorry boss, yeah. How do you know where I live? Right. Okay, well, I can be out back in a few minutes. Right. Bye. one thing clear. I don't know you, and I don't ever want to see you again. We feel the same way. We're family now. It's only natural we don't want to see each other all the time. I mean, family all the time? What a nightmare, am I right? That's right. A nightmare. All the time. Hey, yeah. You want a Coke, buddy? It's cold. No, thank you. Now you wouldn't hurt my feelings. Ah, I'm just yanking your chain. It's all good. We'll take care of everything here. We pick you up. We drop you off. We take you back home. And um, what else? There was something else. Here you go, Chief. Put this on. For your own protection. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. That's right. Enjoy the ride. 93 Aloha. Did I say that right? Jack, 
went all the way to the market. And while he was at the market, he saw a strange old man. Oh, hey! Jack! How do you know my name? Yeah, everybody's named Jack around here. Hey! Uh -huh. hey. I see that you're trying to sell that cow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to sell this cow. I have something I want to trade you for this cow. It's very special. Very, very special. It's, it's these magic beans. Oh. Wait, wait. I'll trade you these magic beans for that cow. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 no. No. My mom said I have to go to the market, trade the cow for money. Money? money? These magic beans are better than money. Oh, right, better than money. Oh, I don't know what to do. What do you think, kids? What's better, money or magic? Magic! Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Same time, same time. Okay. 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 Magic beans. I can't wait to show mom. Yeah, ran all the way to his house as fast as he could to go get these magic beans to his room. <laughs> going through obstacles, running through small trails, large trails, <laughs> and finally he got his way home. Oh. And he knocked on the door. Mom! I got something really amazing! Yeah, you're back! The best thing was the soul of money! You're gonna so be so happy! You're so smart! Was that money? So, I got something better than money. Just wait, just wait. These are magic beans. Ooh, so magic. Look at them. Oh, yeah, so smart. Magic beans. Oh, yeah, magic beans. Magic beans. Oh, yeah, magic beans. You traded Bessie for magic beans? You idiot, my boy, what are you thinking? Oh, my poor boy. You've lost your mind. We need money for Bessie. What are we going to do with magic beans? You are calm. It's good. Sometimes the client, he get nervous, hysterical, thinking he's victim. You're not victim. I do not kill those who pay. They never work with nervous people. Your calm is good for business. Business is good for American dream. Someday I become a citizen. How long is this all going to take? And how is this all going to happen? I mean, how does this all go down? This assignment take two, three, four days. My assistant will call you. The rest is confidential. The less you know, the better. Of course. I assume you're the one who's going to be uh, doing the deed? Could be me or my assistant. Or both of us working together. Either way, job 
gets it done. I have one request. What is it? Whisper the number 93 in his ear. In his final moment. Can you do that? 93? No pro. Excellent. My payment is in the envelope. I know. I trust. We're family now. It's all good. Nothing to it. Easy squeezy. Hey, buddy, yeah. You want that coke now? Cause you're looking kind of thirsty. No. Oh, there you go. Hurt in my feelings again. Just like family. Just like family. Ah, и спасибо, спасибо за Микки Мауса. Я его все время нашел. Тут я к любимой уезжаю на пару дней. Мне не звони, хорошо? Твоя дама держит тебя под каблуком. Тряпочка ты. Я под каблуком не помещаюсь. А за тряпочку ты еще получишь. А еще что-нибудь? Да. Почти забыл. Клиент хочет, чтобы ты объекту шепнул на ухо цифру 93. 93. Но только когда он уже кончаться станет. 93. Без проблем. Talk too much. Talking doesn't matter now. Oh God, I'm literally on fire. Oh, Kundalini is coursing through my veins. Liquid fire. Oh, oh I am this close to achieving adeptus minor. I think you need more time on the trash heap. You're the trash hopper. Hmm. What happens if you take your clown face off and you're still a clown? Oh no. Oh no. What is the face under my face? Oh, oh, it's the illuminated gate of the void. The cloud of unknowing. The no daddy of eternal nothingness. If you ever do get to the HGA, you're fucked. <coughs> yeah. The HGA is a powerful archetypal force. It's not to be messed with or trifled with. Bring it on. Bring it the fuck on. Bring her hot sister and her mother, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can take it, baby. Ah. Uh.
This is a lot to take in. I'll get back with you soon. 93.
he heard a sound, a low rumble, and a, a great rumble in the earth. And all of a sudden, the moon got shaded as we looked outside the window. And there, he saw the most amazing things I've ever seen. He saw a giant bean star. Wow, wow, wow. So Jack decided, oh, I've got to see this giant bean star. So he opened the window, snuck out of the door, out the window, came up to the bean star, and it went all the way up into the sky. So he decided to go climb up that bean star. Climb up that bean star. He didn't even know why, but he went. And he started climbing and climbing up past the treetops, up through the clouds, up past birds, owls, and bats. And he finally, it's nighttime, and then he finally got all the way up to the top. And he looked down, and he was up above the clouds. I can see my house! <laughs> and he decided that he could step out onto the clouds, so he did. And the clouds are fine. And he was stepping on the clouds. He's dancing on the clouds. You remember the dancing on the clouds? But then he looked over the side and he saw the most amazing, the most big, the most humongous, the most amazing thing he'd ever seen this entire time. Oh, it was a giant castle. Wow, that's big. Wow. Wow. So he decided to go past it. He went right over to that castle. Right over to this castle. And he knocked on that big giant door. But when he knocked on it, it was so tiny the sound because it's such a big door that it really didn't do much. Nobody heard it. Anubis loves us. Mm. Mm. Do you mind if I catch a little bit of sleep over here? Good. I had a very Big night last night. Anubis loves us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I catch a little bit of sleep over here? Good. I had a very Big night last night. Mm -hmm. Got a real bad taste in my mouth. You're flipping through your psychic roller deck. Is this a dream? No. A hallucination from an unforeseen brain aneurysm. No, too dramatic. Con 
this be a visitation from the ghost of a dead man getting warmer? Or perhaps this is an out-of-body event, some kind of extraterrestrial anomaly nobody has a name for yet. Oh yeah. Don't talk. You'll wake up the scarlet woman. Love and the evolution, time and then I see that. 
quite a dream. You want to talk about it? I can hang out here for a while if you want. No. I just... I need some time to think about it. Alone. No problem. What do you want from me? If you don't want to see me like this, change it. You're the magician. Conjure me up some new duds. I want a new look. New look. Hear a strange sound. Uh, uh, uh. It, it went like this. It went. Huh. And so Jack went to go investigate. Went down to the door. Opened up the door. And there he saw the most amazing thing he'd ever seen. It was so amazing. He couldn't believe it. It was a giant goose. So he saw the giant goose and he came up to the giant goose. And he got close to the giant goose. gonna happen, I never would have done it. I know that, Jack. The apology is a nice touch, but it doesn't change anything. Why accentuate the neck, huh? Come on, right side. You 
picked up in my memory banks. Interesting, you're creating a feedback. Ninety-three, lover. Uh, I can't tell you how good it feels to hear from you. Jack, listen, something has come up and I have to leave town. Now? Where are you going? Maggie, you talk to me. I can't talk now. I will call you in a few days. <sighs> Wait, was there something I said? Something I did? Maggie, you gotta talk to me. It's complicated. I will explain later. The Anubis working definitely backfired. I think I may be possessed by a demon. Hold on for a moment. Tvaya, Vazlubinaya, Kaldunya. Itakli? Da. Kaldunia. Inagda valshebnitsa. Inagda vedima. Mojemu drugu nožna pomeš. V nebo vsilil si ja zloj do. Ana možet pomoš? Может быть, я ей позвоню. Мэгги. I'm back. Somebody might be calling you soon about a trip to the desert. Go with them. These people can help you. We talk later. Bye. 93. You and me in the land of Jack. Get me! Here we go! Oh, don't drop the beast, dog. One more! 
things in my dreams. Good, you may remove one of your heads now. You have the mark of a watcher. I do? What does a watcher do? There's no doing, the watcher watches. But what does a watcher watch? You are not ready. Put your head back on. Wait. A watcher watches. There's no object to watch. Only watching. That's right. The watcher watches. I'll need you to watch in tonight's ceremony. And thank you for chopping the wood. You will prepare the ceremonial fire tonight. understood why Jack stopped returning my calls. It wasn't like him. Around the same time I lost contact, the police contacted me about his whereabouts. Apparently, they knew how much Jack had to gain from Mallard's death, and he was wanted for questioning as a person of interest. I told the police I didn't know where he was. I would have said the same thing if it were a lie. gods too. Nobody works these gods. They work us. bad air in here. Open the door, please. It'll take more than three claps to banish that demon. So it is a demon? A demon controlled by a rival of mine. A very powerful shaman. That demon took the form of the man you put to death. He's a nasty old bastard. It makes you a nasty bastard, too. Will you help me? I will get rid of your demon, but not to help you. I will do it to send a message to my rival. You I do not care for. Understood. You understand very little. But tonight we make the spirit ceremony, and you need to do exactly as I tell you, or you are owned by that demon 
for all of time. Flood, can take your boys and go now. Come back tomorrow morning, early. No problem. Have, have we met before? Yep. down on your knees and face me. Pay careful attention to this teaching. You must be very careful not to inhale the powder. If you do, you could go unconscious and not come back. Do you understand? Face me. Sharp exhale. This is the breath of fire. After the fire breath, turn and exhale. You must not inhale the powder. You're not ready yet. I feel like I'm attending my own funeral. That's my line. Don't you have any thoughts of your own? I have it on good authority that we knew each other in past life. I think it may have been you. Oh, don't flatter yourself, pal. You just called me pal. Blow the powder up your nose. It'll hurt at first. I can stand the pain. Should I stay conscious? Don't fight the powder. Go to sleep. The watcher will wake us when we're done. Do not inhale the powder. You're not ready. Go ahead.
to me. What if they're dead? Oh, they're not dead. They're sleeping off a big tequila night. I don't see any tequila bottles. I think they're dead. I'll be damned. Maybe you're right for once. Hey! What the hell are you talking about? Sick of your shit! You're the one who's always screwing up! You're the one who's screwing up! You're always saying I'm screwing up! I hate you! I'm screwing up! Both of you! Shut up! I know what this is. You see what she's doing? Both of you. Take this water. Do as she does. Move. Now. Not one word. Take off their shoes. Move, move. Wash their feet.
I told the professor he wasn't ready to take the powder. I don't understand what happened. This is not good, Vlad. I take care of the dead man. Boys! Take body to the impact. rid of your demon is at the cost of another life and I'm afraid you may not have long to live. I don't understand. A life was lost to save your soul. If you are not ready to die, you must change your life. You cannot go back to the life you were living and live much longer. I'm not trying to alarm you. This is just the way it is. Jack.
lot has happened over the last three days. Jack ranked Adam to Adeptus Minor after Adam spontaneously started speaking in tongues, an Enochian language only Jack could understand. Right after that, Jack unexpectedly resigned as Temple Magus, a move that sent shockwaves throughout the international occult communities. That's when Jack began his apprenticeship in the clowning business with Adam. Jack was beginning to transform himself into what we call a babe of the abyss, a spiritual event that involves the dissolving of all the bonds that compose the self into their most basic elements toward a final merging with the void as true nature. A farm boy! In my oven! Oh, get him out of there! Come here! Come here! And they lived happily 